guys and welcome back to Mary J's Haul. So today we have a huge aloe haul with some of the newest arrivals. So make sure to click the like, click the subscribe and stay tuned because we are going to get straight in. Okay guys, so the first item in the aloe haul is this aloe basic white t-shirt. I will include an overlay of how it actually looks on. I got a size extra small and it was probably like 48 to 65 bucks, somewhere in between there. I personally, I love it. Even though it's pretty boxy and square, the material that they're using is so soft. And I think the material is polyester and vicose. I don't even know what vicose is, but whatever it is, it's like you want to sleep in it, you want to wear it all the time. Like it is so soft, so smooth, a little bit see-through. I will be back to buy more of their other colors as it does come in gray and black, I think. So they do have variations in colors. This is a size extra small, as you can see in the overlay, how it looks. It's a tiny bit boxy, but overall it's a basic white tee. You can't go wrong with, although the price tag, I'm sure you can find similar white tees like this made out of similar super soft material um, from other brands that are a little bit cheaper. So we will move on to the next item in the haul, but overall this was a keeper. So guys, the next items in this haul were actually a set, and I actually have all three pieces to the set, and there might actually be more than three pieces. I have the like bralette in the ba bandana color, um, and I think they have like an orange bandana as well as a green bandana. I personally am not a huge fan of some of their more recent color drops, which I'm usually a color drop fiend, but it seems like they're being a little bit like loosey-goosey with their hex codes lately, but they're still popping out a bunch of new styles and great items. I personally love this top. Now, I am bustier up top, and so it is a little heavy, and my ladies tend to jut out. My boyfriend says I can't wear it to a yoga class, but that's that's his issue, not mine. Um, it is cross back. It does not have, like, latches back here, but I do have to say, like, I wear a size extra small, and I am a size zero to two for the most part, and I'm 110 pounds and 5'4", but I have to say the band actually fits really well. It's not super tight to where it creates like a skin bulge, but it is also not loose enough to where you feel like you don't have enough support. So this is supportive. That being said, this was made for tinier tots because the designated boob socket definitely doesn't fit my boobs, but I personally like the way it looks. So I am going to 100% keep this. And I paired it in the first overlay with the loose bandana shorts. So these ones are not like bodycon shorts. These ones are just simple running shorts for the most part. And they have built-in underwear, not built-in spandex shorts. But these were not my favorite at all. I felt like the fit was really off. The bottoms, the underwear inside were really tight. They do have a little pocket as well as a drawstring so you can flip it over. I just felt like the length of these shorts plus like the style and the cut was just too poofy and not like, not aloe quality. Like they really, aloe puts out so many amazing things. And so this one was just for sure a miss. Now for some people, maybe with super long legs, this might look really good on you. I just felt like it was an awkward length for me and it just wasn't as comfortable as most of the other aloe stuff. And I'm currently in this process of like, if I do not love it, I do not keep it because I have so much aloe stuff. Speaking of that guys, I'm always, listing my aloe stuff for sale on Poshmark. So I will include an overlay of my Poshmark name right here. Make sure to go check it out. I've got a bunch of aloe on there. Most of it like probably barely used because I'm an aloe fiend for the most part. But yeah, so this will be a return and they were also probably like 60 bucks or 70 bucks. Um, I don't even know anymore just because I'm like constantly broke because of aloe. So we will move on to the next. Okay guys, so the next item in this haul, which I think I just paired with the common basic white tee, is the 7th 8th airbrush leggings. Now there is legit nothing better than a fresh pair of 7th 8th leggings by Aloe. And the, I tend to prefer the airbrush, although I have been moving more into the um, airlift as well. The airbrush is flat colors, not shiny, a little bit thicker material, whereas the airlift are shiny, thinner material and tighter and not as much give. Now, I have to say they have for sure perfected their 7th, 8th leggings, aside from the fact that some color variations make sizing a little bit different for whatever reason that is. Now, I like when I open up a fresh pair of 7th, 8th leggings, it's like, ah, I love it. Now, this was actually a gift to me. It is part of the newest color drop, which you also saw in the terry cloth. And the, I would 100% keep these. The only thing is that I have so many blues currently. And this is probably my least favorite of the hex colors that I have because um, I only keep the hex codes that I really like. And hex codes just means color code. Now, they're usually really good about their color codes. I feel like with their newest or last few renditions of color codes, I just haven't been vibing with them more. I tend to like more like neutral, not in your face colors. So for people that like to be bright and out there, these would be so great. Like I said, I am 100% fan through and through of 7th Ace Leg Leggings. Whenever they come out with a color that I love, I instantly buy them. No regrets, no remorse. Don't even have to try them on. I already know they're going to be perfect. So as you can see in the overlay, they do a really great job of like pulling things in, lifting things up. You don't have a problem where you're constantly pulling them up. The only problem with the 7th Ace Leggings that I've noticed is I'm kind of like a lazy washing machine person. So I actually throw mine in the washing machine and in the dryer. And I don't think you're supposed to do that because I've noticed that like, like I said, there's nothing better than a fresh pair of 7th Ace Leggings or airbrush leggings. 
And I tend to prefer the seventh eighth lengths because that goes down to my ankles because I'm a short person. So if you are a tall person and you want like ankle length, they have the longer length leggings. I just tend to prefer a little bit above my ankle for my body shape. Um, but I don't know how people, other people are washing them. I know I'm not doing it correctly, but I do feel like no, none of my leggings look as good as a fresh pair of leggings, even if I've worn them and washed them once. So keep that in mind, guys, when you are washing your leggings, I feel like I buy enough to wear I can get away with it for the most part but once i move into my new place with a more op optimized system i will start taking better care of my aloe even though my aloe are in great condition like if you guys go to my um also if you guys go to my poshmark i've got a bunch of things new with tags not tags where you put back on but new with tags that i've legit never worn because i do not take tags off now until i actually wear an item for sure because that's how i know if i actually end up liking it enough to keep it if i find it in my closet four months later with a tag still on it it's being sold because i clearly didn't like it enough to wear it so overall seventh eighth leggings a hundred or airbrush leggings sorry i call them the seven eighths a hundred percent of the way if you're ever in doubt just buy them because you're gonna love them that being said i have to tell you that there is one pair of leggings i like more than aloe's seventh eighth leggings and it's just about the only thing i like from lululemon and that is the HR Align pants, probably around the 25 length. They've got a bunch of different lengths. It is like, I would take those leggings over any leggings that Aloe has ever come out with, because trust me, I've tried most of them any day of the week. 100% of the time, I would take those leggings, unless it's winter and unless I am doing something that is being outside, because the HR Aligns are really thin, not see-through, but thin. Um, these are definitely more like tight and conforming and lifting, but I realize like, I feel like my legs sometimes can't breathe enough in them, but they are great for winter super super great for winter and other like basic daily activities um they're also great for yoga i've used them for years for yoga and i've had no problem whatsoever they don't really show sweat that much depending on the color but overall seven eight airbrush leggings if you're in doubt just buy them next sets that i purchased were the <laughs> i have a problem with velvet and stuff like that but these are actually terry cloth now I thought they were going to be more velvet like but no they are for sure terry cloth and as you can see in the overlay it was not that flattering the top comes and it tapers in at the bottom the one thing that i really loved about this top aside from like the dynamic edges which is cute if you can figure out a way to make it work with wearing a bra i personally have to wear a bra otherwise like it's like all hell breaks loose um but the square top i really like on a lot of people the only issue is that bra straps tend to show through on the square and it just, it wasn't right for me. The other thing that I liked about it was the length that it was. Now, I tend to have a shorter torso, even though I am lean. It still makes wearing certain crop tops hard for me, especially with larger breasts, because if you wear too short of a crop top, it makes it look like you're busty and like trying to be slutty when you're not, you're just following the trend. But I have to say the crop top for me as a 5'4 person was the perfect length, and I really enjoyed that. The thing that I didn't like was the tapered in bottom because it created like little pockets on the sides of the shirt, and I paired it with the terry cloth shorts which i was also not a huge fan of as like most of my aloe hauls are like okay i'm keeping i'm keeping i'm keeping i'm keeping and so my wallet is like, super excited that i'm not keeping all of these but it is kind of sad because you know i love aloe and i love getting me some new goodies so these are the terry cloth shorts you can flip them over um and use the drawstring they do have pockets i think they can be cute they were just too boxy and poofy on me and the material, it, it feels like a towel for the most part. Like, it, I just wasn't vibing with it at all, especially not as a set together. The only time I think I could ever wear these pajama, these shorts is as pajamas, and the band is way too thick for me to like them as pajamas. So it was kind of a bummer. I will not be keeping either piece from the terry cloth set. So the terry cloth was a big no for me, Who and I am someone that is a ridiculously giant fan of aloe, so... Um, that's how you know it's a, a miss but they are constantly putting out new designs and new styles and stuff so it, you're gonna find a bunch of things you love and maybe like a couple of things in the rough that you did not like now guys so for this next item i honestly have to say i thought it was like laughable because it is probably one of my least favorite things i have ever 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 purchased from aloe and that is this collared tennis dress now it has no spandex inside no built-in bra no support it looks kind of like a trash bag on me now if you're someone that likes more conservative looks um this is probably a go-to for you the material you can tell is athletic material so it is made for sports i'm not sure exactly what sport maybe like golf i think probably because it's got like a collar and all the buttons but overall it was just too long it wasn't what i was hoping for i thought it was going to be shorter and cuter something like a little bit preppy but overall it was a hell no not just a no a hell no because it is actually the worst thing i have ever purchased from aloe unfortunately this haul was like a big fail aside from a couple of things like the bandana bra that i showed you guys earlier and one of the other things that i'm about to show you which is the final item in this haul but overall guys if you're looking for something more conservative this is where to go if you are into golf and you have very strict golf rules again this is the item to buy if you like longer length also, another great thing about this dress for people that want longer length, it is 100% a return for me as I tend to wear more petite things. And even though it fit fine and was comfortable on, I just felt like, how, like what kind of bra do you wear with this? Like uh, definitely a sports bra, but the sleeves are so big that your sports bra would show through, which would make it look tacky within itself. So 
I mean, if you're a golfer and looking for golf outfits, I definitely recommend you try it because Aloe does really great at making clothes. But for the most part, for me, who's not a golfer, I'm okay just wearing one of the cute tennis skirts that I, I bought. I bought a bunch of from Aloe um, to the golf course because they have built-in spandex as well. Like, if I'm going to play golf or any kind of sport in these clothes, I want to feel like protected and safe. Not like I've got to like layer on underneath clothes so that like my butt and my hoo-ha don't show. So we will go ahead and move on to the final item in this haul, which is probably one of my favorite items in this haul as well. Well, it is one of my favorite items in this haul, but let's move on. So we moved on to the final item in this haul, which is the convertible strapless top or tube top, whatever you guys want to call it. I do not have the straps on right now because I don't think there's ever been a single convertible tube top that actually looks good with the straps on. As you can see in some of the overlays that I'm posting, it doesn't look great with straps on. And I think this was actually marketed as a tennis top at first. And when I saw the comments on Instagram, they were getting like reamed because like, who wears a convertible top to tennis? Like, no, that just doesn't work. That being said, I do have to give them credit because most of the time it's really hard to find a supportive tube top or a supportive strapless top especially one with a built-in bra that actually stays up but they did just that they made the convertible tube top into a strapless top that will actually stay up and keep your girl supported because i tend to have bigger girls um it definitely varies with lunar cycles and stuff like that but my girls need the extra support and they get enough support in this which is just crazy to me because if it had no support i feel like one of them or two one's bigger than the other but one might be hanging out underneath that one so i am a huge fan of this top my boyfriend really likes strapless tops so it is for sure a keeper for me the material's nice like i said the built-in bra with the padding which i always take out padding but in this case i'm not going to take out the padding because it is very convenient my only issue is that i love aloe clothes so much that i actually wear them out to do other things aside from fitness um and aside from daytime activities i just wish in some of their clothing that they made their logo a little bit more discreet because you could totally pair this with some like either black leather leggings or other like cute items and I feel like the logo makes it look a little bit more athletic rather than looking like fancy and quality. We know that their products are quality but I want it to look like it was made for going out sometimes rather than made for staying in the gym. So overall I mean it's for sure a keeper. My two favorite things in this haul were the bandana top as well as the strapless top which both of those I will be keeping. Aside from that it's actually really crazy to me that I'm only keeping those two things out of all the like nine things that I reviewed just be oh wait I'm keeping three things. I'm also keeping the basic tee because that was so soft and so comfortable even though I know probably gonna hate me because I spent like 60 bucks on a basic white t-shirt but those are much harder to find than you think. Um, so if you guys have any good recommendations for like basic white t-shirts that look good even though it's kind of boxy let me know down below for real. I'm always looking for basic white tees that are like semi-fitted, but also cute that are light and have good quality material. But overall, that kind of concludes our haul. Make sure to click the like, click the subscribe, comment below. Let me know if you like any of the items that you've seen on there. Make sure to check out my Poshmark because I'm always selling aloe clothes. And also, if you do like any of these clothes and you do plan on buying from aloe, make sure to use the link below because it will get you 10% off and aloe doesn't run sales that often. So 10% off is better than no percent off. I will also link to the products that I did in this haul down below. So make sure to check that out if you like any of them. But overall, this haul was a fun one. It is all their newest arrivals. So I'm helping you guys to not have to spend the money that I spend because my credit card's like meow, meow, meow. So thank you guys so much for watching Mary J's Halls and click that subscribe. Have a good one, guys.